Welcome to the Unity Asset Realistic Eye Movements. In this video, I give you a quick overview of how to set up realistic eye movements. First, I show you how to use presets to set your character up with just a few clicks. Then, I show you how to do the setup manually, in case you don't have a preset for your character yet. I show you how to set up a character which uses bones for eyelid movements, and then a character which uses blend shapes for eyelid movements. You can jump to the section of the video that interests you with the timestamps below. If you have a preset for your character, setting up just involves a few clicks. Realistic Eye Movements comes with presets for Adobe Fuse, Make Human, Autodesk Character Generator, Dads Studio, Character Creator 3 and Humor. Here I have a Dads Studio character which I will use to show you the three different methods of setting up Realistic Eye Movements. First, via presets and then manually via bones for eyelid movements and finally via blend shapes for eyelid movements. First let's take a look how the character looks with just a simple animation applied without the eyes being moved by the realistic eye movement assets. That looks a bit stiff, that it can be improved a lot. So let's do that now. First the preset method. Let's add two components to the character, look target controller and eye and head animator. In eye and head animator, click the import button. The presets are stored in the folder presets. Choose the right preset for your character, in that case it's a dad's character. And we are done. Let's take a look how it looks in play mode. That looks much better. Ah, the character is even looking at us now. Realistic eye movements controls the character's head and eye movements and you can set different things like nervousness and different points of interest or let the character stare back if the player stares at them and different things like that. That adds a lot to how lifelike the character seems. Now let's take a look how to manually set up the character in case you don't have a preset for it yet. First, we will use the method of using bones for eyelids. Add two components to your character. The look target controller and the eye and head animator. In eye and head animator, click on the setup foldout. For eye control, here I use mechanism eye bones. In cases where you have characters without a mechanism rig, please refer to the manual. Alright, for eyelid control I use bones and now we have to assign bones to each of, this, of these array slots. Each lid can take a number of bones. Most characters have just one board per eyelid but dead studio characters have several. For the following steps it's easiest if we lock the inspector panel with the padlock in the upper right. Let's open the character rig and have a look where the eyelid bones are. Alright, let's find the upper left eyelid bones. It's those three. I'll select them and drag them into the upper, lid, eye, upper left eyelid bones array. The same for the upper right eyelids. And now the lower left. There they are, and the lower right. Okay, all of them are assigned. Now we need to choose an eyelid bone mode. For dad's characters, the eyelids rotate to make them close and open. So let's choose rotation. We need to save, save several poses, so realistic eye movement knows which way to move the lids when it wants to open and uh, close them, how to rotate them and what are the limits of the angles. First, we save the eyes open looking straight pose. The character is looking straight and has the eyes open, so let's click save. Next one is eyes closed looking straight. For that we have to close the eyelids. The easiest way to do that is to select the eyelids with the buttons here. Let's first select the upper eyelids and rotate them down. 
And now let's rotate the lower eyelids up. Okay, the eyes are closed. Let's save the pose. Now we can load the first pose again. Eyes open looking straight with load button to make it easier to set up the next poses. We have to tell monastic eye movements the limits of looking up and looking down. For that, first select the eyes and rotate them upwards. Like that. And this looks really unnatural. In humans, the eyelids follow the eyeball. So when the eyeballs look up, then the upper eyelids move up as well, and the lower eyelids move up as well. And this adds a lot to realism in your Unity games. So let's select the upper eyelids and rotate them up. And the lower eyelids, and also make them follow the eyeballs. Like that. That looks good. Let's save that and load the looking straight pose again. For looking down, let's rotate the eyes downwards and let the eyelids follow the eyeballs. Okay, let's save that and load the default pose. Now we can export the preset in case we have a character in the future which uses the same setup. That means that it has the same eyelid bones, for example. Let me export the preset under the name My New Preset. Okay. We can take a look how it looks in play mode. Quite good. Now I would like to show you how to set up a character using blend shapes for eyelids. First, let's add the two components, look target controller and iron head animator. In iron head animator, in the setup foldout, let's choose mechanism eye bones for eye control because my character has a mechanism rig and eyelid control, I set this to blend shapes this time. We now need to save several poses for the eyes and eyelids. First, eyes open looking straight is easy because the character already is looking straight and has her eyes open, so I just click save. For the next one, eyes closed looking straight, we need to make the eyelids close. With the method of blend shapes, we have to select the skinned mesh renderers, which are responsible for the parts involved in that. In this case, it's the one for the body and the one for the eyelashes. I select them both and under skin mesh renderer, blend shapes, you can see the blend shapes I have exported from DAS. It's these ones. And I have to set them to values that make the eyelids close. If you take a look, you can see that the slider lets me enter values between 0 and 100, but I find that with these blend shapes I need to have values outside of that range. So I click in the number slot and enter the values I need manually. So minus 600 for the first two and 100 for the next two. Okay, so the eyelids and the eyelashes both are closed. I go back to my iron head animator component setup and save the eyes closed position. Okay, you can reload the normal one. For looking up, I first click on the eyes button to select the eyes and to make them rotate. I click on the eyes button and rotate the eyes upwards. And then I can again select both skin mesh render, the one for the body, one for the eyelash, and enter the values I have found work best for looking up. In this case, it's 100, 100, 60, and 60. So what you should try to do is find values for blend shapes that when the eyes look up, the um, blend shape values make the upper eyelid move up and the lower eyelid move up. So the eyelids follow the eyeballs. That looks best. It might be a bit difficult depending on your character on your blend shapes because sometimes characters only come with blend shapes for like widen the eyes or make the eyes close. 
and then you might have to find a combination of blend shapes that come closest to um, this kind of look so that the eyelids follow the eyeballs. Okay, let's go under setup and save the looking up pose. Let's load the default one and this time I click on eyes again to make the eyes rotate downwards and then I select the body and the eyelash eyelash skin mesh renderer and enter the values I have found work best for looking downwards so minus 250 and minus 100 okay let's go here set up looking down okay let's load looking straight again if you want you can export the preset now as the setup is complete so then you can apply this preset for characters that have the same uh, blend shade setup as this character Let's take a look at how it looks in play mode. Nice. Okay, that was it for the three methods of setting up the character. If you want more information about how to control the components of um, realistic eye movements, there are several settings. Please. Um, take a look at the manual. But for setup, this is basically it. Thanks for watching.